I've been watching a lot of Brittany Broski, and you know what? She inspired me, okay? I would like to be able to talk about whatever the fuck I want with a captive audience. Who, who wouldn't want that? So, today, since it is 11 p.m. and I cannot sleep and my roommate is not here, I'm going to be talking about random things that I think about, things that I like, things that I've done recently, read recently, listened to recently, in the comfort of my dorm bed that is like six feet in the air. So, number one, I actually read a book. Yep, it's me waiting for applause. Um, I actually read a book for enjoyment, not for school, okay? The Handmaid's Tale. I'd been wanting to read it for a minute. The plot, the world building, it sounded interesting to me, okay? And I'm definitely a fan of, like, your classic dystopian books. Hunger Games, Divergent, all that. I actually never read Maze Runner. Probably should do that. I've heard it's good, but Legend is a great one by Mary Lou. That was so good. I finished The Handmaid's Tale earlier today. Um, I was reading it on my iPad, so I didn't realize, like, the pages at the end of the book, like, it said it was 307 pages, and it was really, like, 290. Um, so I was, like, expecting there to be a couple more chapters, and I literally read five pages, because, and then I was like, oh, it, it's over. And that was my, and that was my rea exact reaction. You know what? I was into the world. I was into kind of this, like, government. I thought it was interesting, the way that it was set up. And also kind of plausible, you know, like I could see that happening slowly and that would be the worst. But, you know, I think it's always nice to have like a little bit of realism in it. Anyway, I was very disappointed. I was very disappointed with this book. Mostly I read the book because I wanted to watch the, the TV show. Okay, I'm going to be real. I was disappointed. It just kind of ended. It didn't end with a cliffhanger like, oh shit. Like, I need to read the second book right now. It just kind of died. It just kind of fizzled to an ending without any real things happening. There was, like, not really a plot line. It was just, like, falling around in her daily life kind of thing. Like, she was talking to this dude. She was talking to that dude. She kind of found her best friend that she lost halfway through, but then never saw her again. Maybe the TV show will do it better. But, um... My rating of books, which I don't have a scale because I barely read. <laughs> so don't take me like don't take me on this. I'd love to hear your opinions if you've read it. But I was I was I had higher expectations, so I'm gonna give it a three or a four out of ten. Alright. I'm gonna watch the TV show and hopefully that'll be good and get me more interested in it. But I think for the world that she created and how interesting it was. I just wish that more happened. I would have read a longer book if it meant that an actual plot line was there. Anywho, switching topics completely. I haven't really been seeing these on my TikTok much anymore, but I, I used to. Um, so I have like curly-ish hair and I've been told like ever since I was like, I don't know, I've been told time and time again, Nia, if you just did a curly hair routine, if you took care of your hair, it would look so good. Now, I kind of have a routine, and it looks much better than it used to when I was younger, because I didn't know how to take care of it. But <clears throat> I always remembered I'd, like, see these elaborate, unnecessary uh, curly hair routines where they get, like, a bowl of water and like liquid and they like dump their head into the bowl and like do a bunch of shit then diffuse their hair for like 45 minutes diffusing i understand that takes a long time sometimes it's worth it whatever the bowl what happened to showering why why do i need to get a separate bowl also who is doing this just in their daily life there's no way there is no way someone is getting out a bowl every time they wash their hair, filling it with water, and doing that stupid little five-minute thing. Like, there's no way. Who has time for that? Who, who wants to have time for that? If I have five extra minutes in my day, you think I'm going to be dumping my hair into a salad bowl? No, I will be on TikTok.
and I feel like that's normal, even though it's bad. We're gonna do a little, a little, um, intermission and go into some songs that I'm into right now. Um, it changes all the time. I'm in a different phase all the time. Right now, throwback. Throwback to old Disney Channel, okay? And with that being said, our number one song right now is Hit the Lights by Selena Gomez, released in 2011. What a throwback. And you know what? I still think this song would go hard at a party, at a frat, anywhere. I, I'm going to go up to the DJ and I'm going to suggest this. And I believe that you should too. The frat flick, it works. Okay? It's a banger. An absolute banger. People would definitely be confused with the first 30 seconds of the song if they don't remember it. But then once you get to the chorus, tell me I'm wrong. Just tell me I'm wrong, okay? Hit the lights. Selena Gomez. Banger. 10 out of 10 song, okay? Bring it back. Bring back Selena Gomez. Second. Determinate by Lemonade Mouth. There is really nothing to say here, okay? It was incredible when it came out in whatever year. Let me look this up. Also in 2011. 2011? Great year for music. Okay, what else came out in 2011? Now I need to know. Music? Released in 2011. Party Rock Anthem? LMFAO? Yeah. We Found Love by Rihanna. We found love Rumor has it, Born This Way by Lady Gaga, Sexy and I Know It, y'all, bring back 2011, bring back 2011, and there's more, oh my god, Forget You, Moves Like Jagger, Firework, what, Super Bass came out in 2011, wow, wow, I just saw What's My Name? By Rihanna, and I only thought of the Descendant song by Uma from Descendants 2, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, 2011, great year for music, okay? This other one, I swear if it came out in 2011, I'm gonna lose my shit. This one, I haven't been like obsessively listening to it, but you know what? I came across it in my throwback playlist today, and it's a banger, and I believe that it needs to be talked about. Irreplaceable by Beyonce. Let's see when this came out. I need to know. 2006? Wait. No. Release date. Release date. 2006! That is crazy. That is crazy. To the left, to the left. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Da -da 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 -da. Absolutely. Oh, yes, okay. 2011, great year. 2006, I'm not going to look up what came out that year, but Irreplaceable by Beyonce. Banger. Also, she's coming out with, like, a country album or something? I don't even know. Beyonce, she, like, released something during the Super Bowl this year, and I didn't really pay attention. Um, Texas Hold'em. Um, I guess I'll give that a listen. <laughs> I don't really know. What is Beyonce's new country song? An Oklahoma-based radio station. Okay, that actually is not. You know who else is coming out with a country album? Lana Del Rey. What is going on? Let's move on, okay? Those are my songs. I think they're incredible. I think you should give them a listen. And Blow Up Lemonade Mouth. All right, She's So Gone, also on Lemonade Mouth. Fantastic song. Um, anything Bridget Mendler put out? Amazing. Good luck, Charlie. Fantastic. Good luck, Charlie. The movie, amazing. Lemonade Mouth. Yeah. And then she's like a doctor and has a PhD now. Like, I want to be her. Like, it goes, most successful people that came out of Disney Channel. Zendaya. Top. She's untouchable. I think Bridget Mendler's next. After that, what's that girl with do from Dog with the Block? Okay, I know she's not. She had like her moment. Okay. It's like G. Cornelius or something. I'm going to be so wrong. G. Hanelius. Okay, that was that was pretty that was pretty close, honestly. No, definitely not her. 
I'm trying to think of like Disney Channel characters now. Miley Cyrus, Miley Cyrus, probably. Like from a success standpoint, do I adore her? Do I adore Miley Cyrus as much as I adore adore Zendaya and Bridget Miller? No, but that's okay. You know what? She's still on the podium. Okay. All right. Next thing. Next couple things have to do with. My recent pursuits with trying to learn things, okay? This has nothing to do with school because why the fuck would it have anything to do with school? Okay, number one. I don't know how to braid, basically. Like, braid my hair. I never did it when I was a kid. I haven't done it, okay? And my friends, when I was making friends in college and they found that out, they were a little shocked. They didn't really know what to say. Which is expected because I feel like that's a basic skill, you know? So, recently, every day before bed, because number one, it's good for my hair. Number two, I need to learn how to braid. Every night before bed, I've been practicing braiding my hair. That's really embarrassing. I've only told one person this because it's embarrassing. And it's been like a month and a half. And you know what? Um... There's, there's progress. Um, it might not be in the forward direction, but there is progress, okay? And so I would like to do a little cut right here and fast forward to when I did this braid. And I'll show you guys a, like a 360, but like an awkward 360 because I'm on my bed. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. This one went quite horribly. My third strand of hair was about this th- <laughs> this thin, and the other two were like juicy thick. So let's do a three. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what this looks like, and I won't know what it looks like until I edit this, and this is gonna be humiliating. Let's do a 360. Anyway, I'm trying, guys, okay? My fingers do not have the dexterity that I want them to, and they don't do what I what I ask them to, okay? And my fingers get all confused. <sighs> On the topic of learning, here's a list of three things that I would like to be able to do without actually learning how to do them. Braiding is not included in this, because I feel like that's not that important. Number one, playing the guitar. I would love to just be able to play the guitar. I can't. Maybe one day when I'm like old and crusty and have nothing else to do, I'm like retired, I'll learn how to play the guitar. But then my fingers really won't work. <sighs> okay, number two, I would like to be able to speak at least at least two languages other than English. Okay, I would like to travel abroad, and I would like to not be that basic American. I really, I really would not like that. I have a horrible accent. When I try to speak in the Spanish, like, accent, dialect, I feel like I'm disgracing the entire culture. And I feel like that would be just, like, so useful. And, like, a great thing to put on your resume. But I don't want to learn how to do it. It takes too much time. Excuse me. There's nowhere for me to, like, practice it in the wild. So, like, if you don't use it, you lose it, and who would I speak these languages to? Also, in high school, when I was actually taking Spanish, you know what we were learning? We we weren't learning, like, useful phrases, how to have a conversation. We were learning about, like, historical figures in Spanish and how to write essays about, about historical figures. I was like, when would this ever be useful outside of this class? Like, number one, I know who Frida Kahlo... Frida Kahlo, can't talk, you know who I'm talking about, Frida, my girl, I know who that is, but I just don't feel like that's going to come up in conversation if I travel abroad to Spain or go on vacation in, in Mexico. You might disagree with me, my Spanish teacher who, quote, married someone of Spanish descent, that's her claim to fame as a Spanish teacher. You know, she thinks that's uh, (laughs) quite important to discuss. And 
let me be clear, there was no AP test, meaning she did not, like, like, AP typically guides you in a certain direction. You have to talk about certain things. I get it. There was no AP test for this class. It was a pre-AP class, which means she came up with that curriculum. Why? I don't know. I don't know. So, yes, I would like to be able to just speak languages. Number one, that would give me an easy 100 in all my classes. Number two, it would be awesome. Number three, be useful. Okay. Third thing, I have been tasked with building models for my architecture class as of recently. And I want to skip the parts of learning. Okay. We got a little wood shop tutorial. It's great. But I would love to just be able to build furniture. Make a little, a cute little wooden spoon with my name engraved into it. A cutting board. A cutting board should be easy, but I just want to be able to do it. I don't want to have to ask questions. I don't want to have to, like, I want to just be able to do it on my own. Okay, I want to build a chair. I want to build a table. I don't know why, but I do. I want to build a... What do I want to build? Anyway, so list, guitar, speaking, at least two languages, and being able to build furniture from wood. I'd love to be able to do those things without learning them. I do need to learn them. I think building furniture would be in my future just because I'm being forced to learn how to do how to do those things, so that's a little bit different. But I would love to know. I think about this very frequently. What would y'all want to do, be able to do without having to learn it? So yeah, let me know because again, I think about that a lot. I'm like, oh, I wish I could play the guitar right now. Or, like, I wish I could just understand languages. I don't know why. So, I hope you enjoyed being my captive audience. I may not edit this. I may. We'll see. Um, if it's interesting, let me know. I'll do more. Because I think it's fun getting to chat. Me and Rory will be signing off. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for new videos, content that you want to see but haven't, content that you've seen and want more of. Anywho, I need to go to sleep. I'm tired. And I almost missed my 8 a.m. this morning, but I didn't, but I almost did. You know I'm such a fool for you. You got me wrapped around your finger. Do you have to let it linger? Do you have to? Do you have to? Do you have to? Thank you. Have a great night.